Hi, my name is Brian Cool. I'm an applications engineer here at Zocado, and what I wanted to show you today is the Zocado uh, Galaxy Demonstration Kit. Um, it's, a, it's a great way to show off our Galaxy ecosystem in a self-contained, pre-wired uh, case, demonstration case. So, what I want to show you guys here is what's inside. So, each case will come with a power cord, a 24-volt power supply, a 48-volt power supply, a Wi-Fi hotspot, a 1 to 10 volt dimming driver, a ULUM 1 to 10 volt bridge, a voltmeter that shows the uh, voltage from the 1 to 10 volt uh, bridge by ULUM. We have an in-ocean Bluetooth switch, a XID driver, an XIG gateway, XIS sensor, XIM module, an XTM on a 45 millimeter holder, and a standard XTM. Here's how they're powered. The power uh, cord goes into the side of the case right here, where we have a junction box underneath the foam. This provides AC power to the ULM 1 to 10 bridge, the 1 to 10 driver. Uh, AC also goes to the 24 volt and 48 volt power supply, and those power the gateway, the XID, the XIS, and the XIM. The XTM is powered and controlled by the driver and the Bluetooth. Um, bridge by ULM. The XIM is directly powered from the 48 volt power supply, same with XIS and the XIG gateway, and the XTM on the 45 millimeter holder is controlled by the XID driver, which is connected to the 48 volt power supply. First thing I'm going to do to power my system is attach the AC cord to our box. plug it into the side right here. You'll know the unit is co working correctly when the lights all power on, the XIS will blink, the voltmeter will display the voltage, and the Wi-Fi hotspot uh, will indicate a green light. When you first plug in your AC, give yourself about a minute and wait for the Wi-Fi hotspot and the XIG to power up. In the meantime, feel free to play with the in-ocean switch to control the three lights we have here. They're all preset to uh, four different scenes and modes. The first is dim to max, so click that and you'll see all three lights go to 100% intensity. You can also dim to off. The third scene is a 10%, 1%, and 0.1% uh, intensity uh, comparison. The XTM, powered by the 1 to 10 driver, is at 10% intensity. The XTM at the 45 millimeter holder is at 0.1, or is at 1% intensity, and the XIM is at 0.1% intensity. That's how you can compare different dim levels, minimum dim levels. The fourth button places the XIM into sensor response mode. When I click this, the first two lights will turn off and the XIM will wait for a motion event before it turns on. The XIS PIR sensors detected my motion and sent data to the XIM, uh, which we programmed to turn on when it sees motion. There's also a LUX detector on the XIS sensor. Right now, the XIM is uh, throttling its intensity until it sees a LUX that I've programmed uh, into the module. If I cover up the LUX sensor, you'll see that the XIM gets brighter. After about eight seconds, the light should turn off because it doesn't see motion anymore. When I move my hand, another motion event will occur and the light will turn on. Click any button to get out of sensor response mode. The Zocado Bluetooth device is periodically uh, broadcasting Bluetooth information that can be received by other devices. Uh, examples include the Zocado Intelligent Gateway, a PC or Mac with the uh, Blue Giga dongle running a Zocado control panel, and lastly, the Zim Troller, a free app available from the iTunes uh, App Store. The Zim Troller app is a simple app that allows me to control uh, and receive data from our Bluetooth devices. 
Here I have a list of all the devices that this phone can see in the area. You'll see the top three with the highest signal strength are the ones in our box, the XIM module, the ULUM bridge, and the XID driver. I can select a device and from this main screen control the intensity. Here I am manipulating the XIM module's intensity. I can also select the device and see more information about the XIM module. 